plane. Just flew from I we flew from North Carolina all the way over to Honolulu. So we in Hawaii. We got Halle in the back. We got Halo in the back, man. It's a family vacation. Family vacation part two. excited man my whole family here so we're gonna have a good time we've been here for a few days so i'm gonna try to get y'all as many vlogs and content as possible while also enjoying my family time for myself so y'all stay tuned man smash the like button i promise i got a double triple to catch up i'm gonna get on it figure it out but that being said we're on the way to the spot we're gonna get settled gonna meet up with everybody else and we're gonna figure out what the plans is for the day but don't leave nowhere because when i'm in hawaii that means you in hawaii so stay tuned uh, what you want bro you want to see where i live at again You had to let me hit it from coming here. Is that cool? Welcome to the crib, man. Welcome, man. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Give y'all a quick little house tour, condominium tour, however you want to call it. Uh, we are in Honolulu. We got a nice little fridge, top of the line. Always got to stay with the Wakia water. You know, that's local. Feel me? Always wanna support the local businesses. You know, the freezer down here, easy shit. You know that's the light stuff. Got my son Cartier glasses right here. You already know who here. You know he here if you see these. Easy. Come over here, man. We got top of the art, state of the art um, stove, kitchen, whatever you want to call it. Hello. You? What you mean you can't find me? No, I'm not outside yet. I'm going to come down. Over here, we got the kitchen. You know what I'm saying? We got the soap. We got the smart, the sponge right here. Scotch Bright. Just in case y'all was wondering. Zero scratch. Sponge scratch. It's three times quicker and stronger. Come over here, man. We This is where we set the uh, dishes at when we done washing them. And then you wake up in the morning, man. Sometimes you want to get you a nice coffee. Sometimes Starbucks a little more expensive. You know, even though I'm a multi-gazillionaire, I like to make my own coffee to save money. You look up here, we got a clock. If you look at the time, it's 5.50. The thing I like about Hawaii, it's three hours back from LA, so I like to come out here to get just a little setback. You feel me? Three hours behind, I wake up at 6 a.m., I get work done, I feel like the day is still young. Right now, it's dark time in LA. It's damn near midnight on the East Coast, and y'all probably sad and depressed. Or y'all going out partying and stuff when you ain't getting no work done. I like to be in Hawaii where the hours are set back a little bit and I'm ahead of everybody. Check it out right here. This is where the money go. Eight million dollar condo. This is where the money go. This is where the money go. You can't do this on a regular place. Fully opening. Go back here so they can see. I'm literally sitting down. At any moment, I can fall off and die. Any moment in time, I can fall off in here and die. The key words that I never do is fall off. I might die at one point in my life, but I'll never fall off. I'm gonna die lit. You come over here. We got a nice little fish right here, man. Some light, you feel me? All wood grain, white wood grain. Nice chair, the seats. Come over here, man, we got Remote control shit, like, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes I don't wanna see the sun, bro. Like, sometimes I'm like, bro, I'm tired of seeing, I'm tired of my life being so good. So I put it down, but you know, when I wanna, when I wanna remind myself what I worked for and what I did, all this hard work for, I put it back up. You know, you ain't gotta touch the thermostat. You already know what that is, man. 70 degrees tight shit, you feel me? Come over here, man. This is the living room. Get a wide shot of this. Get a wide shot of this. You know, just, just picture yourself like just chilling, you watching TV on a nice flat screen Sony TV, and you just kicking. You feel me? You just watching TV. Right now, we're gonna watch the fight. 
the Haney versus Garcia fight. We're finna have some family time. So my family, oh, they downstairs waiting on me. But I told them I gotta show y'all first before they come up. Y'all come before them. Shh, don't tell nobody. Come over here, man. We got good flowers, fake flowers, you feel me? We ain't got time to have no death in the house. That's negative energy. Come over here, man. This is one of the bedrooms right here. As you can see, I told the architecture dude, I was like, bro, I'm gonna get a wide shot of this. You can probably just go over there, though. I told the architecture dude, I was like, bro, man, when I wake up in the morning, bro, I don't want to see a wall. He was, and then I, I did like this. Go fix it. And what he did is he came back in here and he fixed it. And I was like, bro, I don't want to see a wall. So he covered it up. But I said, if I want the wall, at some point, I want to be able to do it. So I do want to leave. Type shit, you feel me? You didn't even know I was gone, bro. I was gone. You didn't even know that. We got top of the line, state of the arts type shit, you feel me? Come over here. Just one of the balconies. Um, I like to come out here and smoke a little joint. You feel me? Remind myself of what I'm working hard for. We got a lot of nice people downstairs at the beach. You see all the families. You see all the kids that are definitely underperforming Halo, but they're trying their best. You know, I see a lot of babies down here that's still trying to say dada. And I see a lot of kids down here that's still trying to say okay. But as you know, my son been there, done that. You feel me? So God bless their hearts. The water is see-through, nice and blue. Couldn't be better. This is where I come back, smoke a little jizzoint. Get my smoke on, man. You know, this is this is this is where you want to smoke it. You feel me? This is where you want to get a little bit of bad toxins in your body to remind yourself. Hello? I got my mama waiting downstairs, y'all. She's gonna cuss me out and give me a whooping in a minute. So let's hurry up. Come over here. You got a whole nother balcony. Now this is called what I like to call the master balcony. You come out here, this is like family time. It's a three-seater. You sit down, kick your feet up, have a nice little dinner, eat food, eat a little mushroom gummy, smoke a little, a little ganza, and enjoy the view. Plain and simple. Um, it's beautiful here, y'all. I like, $8 million couldn't have been spent better. You feel me? Come on here. Same type of view. Um, and you can see the water is completely safe. I let, I let a few people get on my beach. I told, I told uh, the governor of Hawaii, I was like, bro, like I'm cool with people coming when I'm not at home, but when I'm at home, bro, you gotta get all these people off my beach. And then he was begging me, like, he like, please, DDG, please, sir, please. Can I please just have a few people come on your beach? I was like, bro, man, make it quick. So I'm like, as soon as my video done, they gotta go. Hey, y'all hurry up, all right? Y'all hurry up. Yeah. I think I'd be joking, I'd be dead ass serious. <laughs> That's the funny thing. This is the master bedroom in here, but you know, I got Hallie and my son in there, so we gonna wait to show y'all that when everybody else come upstairs. You know, my son like his privacy. He do not like people in his space. He tell me all the time, he's like, Daddy, if you gonna be filming and stuff around me, bro, make sure you keep me out of it unless you send me a contract and let me know that you want me to be in your video. That's why I haven't seen him in my videos. Cause I've been trying to save up to get enough money to have him feature in my stuff. This is the guest bathroom. Boom. Tight shit. Check me out. You know I I use the bathroom, bro. No homo, man. But I I put the water up it. You feel me? Before I even wipe my shit, already clean. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You feel me? It's called a duvet or whatever. Come over here. Got the Kleenex, man. You got the sink, state of the art, stainless steel, man. Even though I'm a rose gold type of guy, you know, when stainless steel over there, we got state of the art, life is good, LG, washer and dryer connected, easy work, a little bit of storage over here, extra stuff. We even got a few games, a few little things for you to have fun in here with Halo whenever you feel like doing it. Quick little vacation home, man. You know, 
But I'm gonna go downstairs and go get my family real quick. So all my Hawaii fans, if y'all know where I'm at, these hands ain't got no, these hands ain't got no warnings. These hands is viewer discretion advised or whatever the people be saying on TV. These hands gonna get you, bro. Unless you a Samoan and you 400 pounds, these hands gonna get you, okay? Don't come see me. Don't call me again, I'm about to get a whooping. Hello, I'm coming down right now. We at the elevator. All right, here I come. Right. Trying not to get a whooping, y'all. All right, we got my family here right here. Got my, my dark-skinned brother right there. Hey, bro, what's up? I got, I ain't gonna lie. I got, I got us whooping y'all niggas asses, bro. Mr. Damon. I'm in a certain mentality right now where like, if you hit me, I probably wouldn't feel it. Yeah. I'm like in a certain mentality right now. Yeah. Oh. What if I shoot you? I'll probably still get up for a second. This nigga high. Hey, drunk. So I might fire this nigga anyway. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's probably the last time you see me. <laughs> but it was good, you know? Good like, knowing you, bro. I really love you guys. You guys are really good at keeping this shit. You know, I'm not gonna make it like a little survival video and stuff. I'm just gonna go back to what I was doing, you know? Spam, uh, rice, yeah. box. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. Alright, bro. I see. Hope you get a new, new job, bro. I mean, I'm gonna be honest, I feel like I live in the forest, but I really appreciate you too, Johnny. Like, really, you made me feel comfortable. We stayed in a hotel room together. Didn't he send you the contract that said no smoking or drinking on the job? Uh, no, actually, you, I didn't get that contract. Or maybe I did, but I might have been smoking or drinking when he gave me the contract. Yeah. Did, is that what happened? Probably. Johnny, you, you can get Johnny on the weekends. Yeah. I mean, I know math. Johnny. All right, y'all. We got to go in here right now. We have this is the master bedroom. Um, we just take, took a family shower in here, y'all. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get real personal with y'all. No homo, Johnny. Let me close this real quick. It's a little loud. I got an athlete's foot. I don't know where I got it from, y'all, but I know it's somebody. It's always somebody that can relate to something, bro but my toes been peeling. I don't know what it is, bro, but please comment below. Is this gonna work, bro? I got athlete's foot, bro. That's why I've been insecure about my feet a little bit. Usually my feet is perfect. But right now, bro, my shit itching, burning, all types of shit, bro. I don't know what it is, but please comment below if y'all got the same thing. They say it come from your feet sweating or whatever. It is what it is. I felt my son sweet my my son feet today and his is sweating too. So unfortunately, he probably gonna have athlete's foot when he get older. But comment below, help me out, y'all. I never asked y'all for anything. I don't know what to do, bro. It's been going on for a minute. Come in here, man. We got the shower, state of the art. You know, I told them, bro. You will give me a shower. I need a tub, bro. I like to take baths and shit, like. Take a bath and get up and shower. A lot of y'all take baths and y'all don't shower afterward. It's very nasty. You're sitting in your own dirt, please. Uh, we got a few amenities. We got soap. We got a Cartier watch that you can throw on when you get in the shower. I leave it in here because, you know, it's a waste of money for real. It's, it's really nothing. If it was a richer meal, I probably would have let it come out the shower. Come over here. We have state of the art. We got the Dyson. Everything in here is state of the art. That's what I'm trying to let y'all know. That's why I keep reiterating it because I want y'all to know, you know, I don't do nothing under amazing. Over here, we have a white lady on the balcony. She comes with the room. Um, we have a nice bed right here. Halo has his own Burberry bed. He specifically said designer. He requested Balenciaga, but we only can get Burberry. And, uh, you know, he's a little upset, but he accepted it and he's he's gonna continue to let us be parents. We got a Birkin bag on there. $25,000 purse. Uh, this is my nightstand right here. A couple elephants, Balenciaga wallet, a couple CarMaxes, always gotta stay moisturized. And um, we also have another Sony TV. And we have a master balcony right here. We come out on. It's all connected. Yep. We have also a Mexican woman that comes with us. Tacos, Bidia. Hello. Yep. I'm trying to get Come over here. <laughs> we got a nice view, man. 
black man with the uh with the uh wave cap on right now. That's how they get tied to the come over here. That's pretty much it, y'all. I wanna I wanna see if my son will let me put him in the video. I didn't pay his I didn't pay him for it, so maybe he not he don't wanna do it. Can you see if Halo will be in my video? He told me I gotta pay him first. Maybe crying, bro. Is it is it is it weird that you can't just jump up no more? You gotta, you gotta do this type of shit. What? Nah, it's, I ain't gonna lie. The airport was crazy. Was no, no, no. He wasn't tweaking at all. It's just, bro. I'm carrying three bags and a diaper bag and her purse and through five airports, man. This for this to be her fucking. Like then we was in the airport. Bro. We was in the, the Delta Lounge. Every single person working there came up trying to take a picture. Trying to take a picture of Halo and everything. His face probably out there somewhere. I don't know where it's at. In the workers? The workers. Well, yo, DM Delta and tell them that. Like, nigga, we ain't got no privacy? You can sue them for that. For real? What if you had, yeah, because I think what, it's, what it is with businesses, say if you was cheating on your girl in a business, you'd be like, damn, in the business, I can't even go here with, you know what I'm saying? What if that was just like your mistress? And they over there taking pictures of at the work site. Hey, I don't live like you, bro. You come over here. <laughs> we got a dark skinned man with a wave cap. He caught the room as well. <laughs> hey, that nigga racist, bro. That's a bullshit, nigga right? Like dark. What'd you say? Straight bullshit, right? Yeah, I love <laughs> black people, all shades. Y'all know that. That nigga said straight racism at its finest, man. Let me chill out. My first girlfriend in first grade was dark skinned. He fuck around with you. You ain't been with a dark skinned woman since then, eh? What you mean? How you gonna tell me what I done did? They try to get me in trouble. Hold on, y'all. Hey, little face right there. Hold on. Y'all come close. Y'all just walk with me. Somebody passed the weed. That was a joke, by the way, y'all. Please do not cancel me. It's not that serious. Can I see him real quick? I'll turn this way. Listen, I'm gonna pay you, I promise. Just show the back of your head. Mr. Halo right here, one of his calm fits. He waiting for the fight to come on. Who you going for? Shit, Haney. All right, cool. <laughs> so he trying to, he, he getting ready for the fight. He about to watch something. You know, he gonna follow in my footsteps. When I was um, eight years older than what he is right now, I started boxing, you know. Definitely wasn't as good as Mayweather or Devin Haney or Javante Davis, but I was on my Mike Tyson level. Yeah. Gonna uh, have a little bit of family time. Y'all know it's 420, so I'm gonna get fried. If you wanna watch me for the rest of the day and you just love me so much, go to my Snapchat. I'm gonna snap for the rest of the day. Um, yeah, gonna have a good time. We're here for a little bit, so stay tuned, turn on post notifications, hit subscribe if you haven't, and you just stalking me and watching without subscribing, that's kind of weird, so do it. Um, I'm gonna give y'all the best vlogs possible, man. I love y'all, I appreciate y'all tuning in, tapping in with me, and I, I wouldn't be able to live like this if it wasn't for y'all. I'm gonna continue to inspire and motivate. Stay tuned, I'll see y'all in the next vlog. Savage, I might get a gram, but I'm still serving bulls. Yeah. Yeah.